Today there was a big rally in Washington, D.C. and a bunch of other places around the U.S. where people were marching to stand up for science, or coming together to stand up for science. The reason people are doing this is because the Trump administration has dramatically shifted funding, cut funding, in science. It's always important that we critique how science is being funded, what things are being paid for with public money. I mean, in order for a scientist to do his research or her research, someone else has to harvest that scientist's crops and mine that scientist's fuel, right? Like this stuff doesn't come for free. It's important that we're careful about what gets funded and what does not get funded, but it does not seem as an outsider looking in that these funding shifts are being done wisely. It really just seems like things are being cut willy-nilly because political stuff. And I just want to spend a minute here to talk about just what is science? Fundamentally, what the heck is it? You know, a lot of times when we think about what is science, we think about lab coats. <laughs> you know, science is something that people who have PhDs do inside of a lab wearing lab coats. Sometimes they do it at a university or maybe they do it at uh, Bell Labs or they work for the military or for a drug company. But that's, that's a reflection of modern scientific culture. That's not what science is. If we ask when did science start, what culture invented science, a lot of times people think that it started in Western culture, maybe around the time of, I don't know, Galileo-ish that era, right? These ideas about what science is, they conflate what science actually is and what the modern culture of science is. Science, if you strip it down to its bare bones, is just this. It is the careful collection and documentation of observations and an ongoing debate about what those observations most likely mean. That is it. And if you look at ancient civilizations, all of them were doing science. I mean, if you look at the, you know, the shamans in the Amazon jungle, they're doing science when they carefully test out different plants together, uh, trying to heal sick people. But the science that a shaman is typically doing is fluffy. There's contamination. What do I mean by that? Well, the big innovation that happened during the modern scientific revolution is that people tried to get rid of all of their stories and explanations that were not based strictly on observation. They tried to make all of their arguments as clean as possible and based only on observation. To be clear, I'm not saying that science is atheist or that you have to be an atheist to do good science. It's just that when you are doing the science, no matter what you believe in your personal life, you base your research on observation alone, or at least you try to. That is the innovation that made the scientific revolution just explode in power. We went from building cathedrals to building space stations. Once we were able to shed our mythology and base our arguments on observation alone. The observation making, that's where we do experiments. The, the explanation of what these observations might mean. These are things like hypotheses and theories. And then we use these hypotheses and theories to design new experiments to make new observations. So you have this beautiful buildup where theory feeds into experiment, which helps us make new observations, which then help us modify our theory and so on. And, and through this process, we kind of wiggle our way back and forth through these intense debates. We wiggle our way to what is real, what is real in the shared universe that we all live in. So with that, my friends, check out this footage that I took on last year's evolution tour in the Amazon jungle. We will be doing this again in December. This is a piranha that one of the guys on our tour caught. And inside of its mouth, there is a parasite that ate the piranha's tongue and was behaving as the piranha's tongue. Isn't that crazy? I bet the piranha hated that thing. Anyway, we will be doing this again in December over New Year's Eve. Go to evotour.info to learn more. Stay curious.